On March 27th, a horrific shooting occurred at a Presbyterian uh, parochial school in Nashville, Tennessee, in which six people were killed, including three children. And that afternoon, progressive, quote-unquote, media personality David Pakman tweeted the following. Very surprising that there would be a mass shooting at a Christian school, given that lack of prayer is often blamed for these horrible events. Is it possible they weren't praying enough or correctly, despite being a Christian school? You know, it honestly hurts to even read that. Out. Yeah. But after he tweeted that, he received severe <laughs> backlash. These tweets got really epically ratioed. And so a few hours later, he comes back with, all right, too many anti-Semitic attacks oh my God. <laughs> to my family. I've deleted the tweet. Now, look, obviously it should go without saying, but in this business, you can't let anything go without saying. Slurs and threats are obviously out of bounds no matter what. We would never, ever condone any of that, and so I certainly don't wish that for him. But he got a lot of backlash that was perfectly legitimate, a little bit from me, a little bit from... Colin, Colin's got to him a little more than mine since I still have not had the honor of being blocked by David <laughs> Pakman. I'm a little insulted about that. So the next morning, uh, prominent conservatives joined the sort of ratio, uh, most notably, of course, Don Jr. and Candace Owens. So Candace Owens puts up a quote tweet here. Still no apology oh. for mocking the Christian children at the school where the massacre occurred for praying. Instead, he at first blamed anti-Semitism and is now accusing the people who were rightfully horrified by this tweet uh, of being leftists. I don't understand. You cannot make this up. I don't quite understand that. Uh, he at I first blamed that. And now accusing the people of being leftists, you cannot make this up. Okay, I don't, I don't understand that tweet. It's not the first statement of Candace Owens I don't quite understand. Well, well I'll let that go. Don Jr., much more direct, chip off the old block, right? Takes uh, takes after his father. A little easier to understand. Imagine being this big of a POS. Unfortunately, this is what many of the left think of if you have traditional American views and don't follow blindly and capitulate to their every lunatic whim. Truly evil at this point. So Pac-Man then deleted the tweet in which he announced he deleted the original tweet. Okay. So he deleted both of those tweets that I showed right. you earlier, right? Right. So then the next day, he decides not to just take the L and leave it alone. He records a YouTube video and puts out a oh, YouTube yeah. video about the response oh. overnight to his tweets. He put out about a five minute version, but he did thankfully cut together a short version, which he published oh. to shorts. So we're going to play that version here. This is only oh. a minute long, thankfully, but here's again, tripling down on these tweets if you're angrier about my tweet regarding yesterday's shooting in nashville tennessee than you are about the fact that six people including three kids are now dead as a result of that shooting then we have a real problem here i support people who pray if they want to pray praying if that's important to them but it doesn't prevent shootings and so when elected officials offer nothing more than thoughts and prayers, and then we have another shooting and another one and another one, and they continue to offer nothing more than thoughts and prayers, they were the target of my ire, not the victims of the shooting. And that I stand by 100%. Anyone who knows me knows I would never blame the victims of a mass shooting for that mass shooting. Thoughts and prayers are fine, but we have to go beyond it. Okay, so what he's saying is that his tweet was a knock on the thoughts and prayers conservatives who offer thoughts and prayers as a stand in for policy solutions once the shooting happens. I'll refer you to this once again. Right. Let's look at this. Is it possible they weren't praying enough? This happened at a Christian school, and is it possible they weren't praying enough or correctly despite being a Christian school? This is quite obviously directed at the school and the people in the school. This is not directed at, at the thoughts and prayers peddling politicians. There are millions of liberals who every time a shooting happens go on riffs about the thoughts and prayers people. They don't get this kind of attention because this is different. And so what I tweeted at him, I don't have a graphic for this, but I said, listen, 
I will take you at your word that you didn't mean this as a knock on the victims, even though, if I'm being completely honest, I don't really take him at his word at that. But I will, for the sake of conversation, take you at your word on that. Um, the thing to do is to come out and apologize for your poor choice of words, because it right. is very obvious that this, at the very least, can very reasonably be construed as a sarcastic sort of atheistic dig on a school. Well, I guess you picked the wrong religion, huh? Because your prayers didn't stop this from happening. That's how this tweet reads. It's right. obvious. I mean, the level of gaslighting is just incredible. That's right. so obvious what the tweet says. And, and like my tweet that I responded to him today, which triggered him, uh, because there were a couple other people was like, he had a right to say this. And I was like, wait a minute. If he was talking about conservatives, that would be one thing. You can make that argument. But he didn't say conservatives here. He said Christians. So it's the idea of, like, generalizing the idea of, like, all Christians just pray, and because of the shooting that, you know, is Christians' fault. I can, I can very much tell you I grew up in the church. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a Christian in that way anymore. I grew up in a church. I know plenty of Christians who do not believe in this, number one. Number two, he kind of, and I'm glad I saw, like, the short, like, I was thinking about watching, like, his response to this, but I'm like, I don't want to give you the view, dude. Like, you basically dug your hole. But, you know, I'm kind of glad I saw it just to kind of give the context to see what he actually said. And you are kind of, based on this tweet, you know, shaming the victims instead of shaming the politicians that have basically allowed this to continue. If you wanted to call out conservatives, that's one thing. I can go with you for that. But you have to kind of go all the way and kind of call out the party that you allegedly don't support, but you really do in terms of the inaction in the last two years in regards to this issue, Democrats have not done shit. And we're seeing like Jamal Bowman like going off at, uh, was it Massey? Massey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, regarding this, like. Yeah, no, I mean, that, well, that and, like, was just I mean, so clearly a contrived moment. It's right. like, you know, he, I mean, that looked like a bad play. It looked like bad acting. Yeah, so it's just like, like, that's what I was saying to Dave, and that's why he blocked me. It was just the idea of, like, you know better. Like, if you wanted to call, call out conservatives, call out conservatives. But don't call out Christians who are essentially the victims in this. Like, yeah, I mean, this it, it, just embodies what this does is it plays right into the stereotype of the smug, self-satisfied, sarcastic, above it all, elitist, intellectual, right, coastal liberal that right. you would take this as a dig because it, that's what it is. Is it possible they weren't praying enough or correctly despite being a Christian school that is directed at the school? It's directed at the school. It's not saying thoughts and prayers don't work. It's taunting them for praying incorrectly or perhaps to the wrong God, which is, yeah, I mean, that is an obscene thing to do in any context, especially the afternoon that six people were gunned down, including three kids. I mean, it's just really, it's, it's an incredibly insensitive thing to say and you know as someone who uh often takes chances with the jokes that i crack you know um i you know if i ever step over in that way and i think about it i will apologize for it like right. you can just apologize you could just say hey you could even try and like i said i would grant you the deniability that you meant it as a dig on the conservative politicians even though i shouldn't right but i could give i could give you that if you said hey listen I fired off 30,000 tweets in my life. Sometimes I fire off a bad one that comes out wrong, and that's on me. That's all you got to say. That's right. all you got to say. Yeah, and I'm not sure if you're going to mention this, but part of my tweet today was because I saw that he gained subs from this. Oh, well, we're going to get to I'm not done playing video of his. You're going to be really upset at the next one I play. Okay. Yeah, but go um, ahead, Tusker. 
Like, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off, Colin. If you're done, no, you go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I mean, I, I'm just gonna say, I, I, I've been seeing some of the comments in the chat. All right, this is not giving cover to Republicans. Not all Christians are Republicans. Right. Okay. Christian does not equal Republican. Just like a black person doesn't equal Democrat. Just like however it is that we assign these identities to people. Like, we have to get that out of our head. This, these were children that were in this school. I don't care what religion they were. Just like I don't care if whenever we go and bomb Iraq and kill children over there, I don't care if they're Muslim. And I don't care if these children are Christian. The simple fact of the matter is, is there is this, another way to get back at the thoughts and prayers constituency all the time. And you do not have to impugn the children and the school itself for not praying hard enough and for not being virtuous enough. Right. That has nothing to do with it. So a few days after this sort of dismissal of people's concerns and the grief of uh, people involved uh, in this uh, horrible tragedy, didn't play well with some of his advertisers. Now, I want to be very clear what I mean by his advertisers. We're not talking about the YouTube advertisers because he didn't say what he said on YouTube. He said it on Twitter, so he didn't get penalized by YouTube for saying what he said. But, you know, he hocks some of the bullshit products that you get to hock when you get a certain amount of followers. I Actually, Jimmy Dore started doing it now. I tuned into his show yesterday yeah, selling, like, I, green yeah, juice or whatever. <laughs> so, I heard. Like, what yeah. was it, a superfood or whatever? I mean, hey, look, whatever. Do what you got to do, right? No judgment there. But those are, those are who we mean when we say the advertisers, some of the advertisers are starting to pull out, right? And so a few days after some advertisers have started to pull out, he posts another video to his page urging his viewers to step in and help him compensate for the loss of ad revenue. I can see Colin's going to love this. Uh, well, let's play a brief snippet <laughs> of this video. <laughs> got emails from multiple. We already got emails from multiple advertisers saying we are pausing advertising. Pausing means it's over. OK, this is the most desperate situation we have ever had over right wingers desperate not to deal with gun safety, because understand that that's what this is. They would rather focus on anything other than gun safety regulations to prevent shootings in the future. That's what this is about. And so instead, they're going after me. They're more angry about a tweet I sent saying thoughts and prayers do nothing to stop shootings than they are about the dead kids. And now they're going after my advertisers rather than because once again, just making this point again that he was going after the thoughts and prayers people and not right. So it just keeps on with that. But here we go. Than trying to fix the problem. So what you can do, number one, write to our advertisers, the ones you see at the end of videos, write to them and say, Please keep advertising with David. The people emailing you angry. All right, write to them and get them right. to uh, keep me. Dear Blue Chew, my dick works fine. I don't need pills, <laughs> but I'm urging you to uh, maintain your sponsorship on the David Beckman show because he didn't really mean what Don Trump Jr. said he meant. So, you know, send them an email really urging I them the email so to keep I can get paid. That I can keep my house, right? I can keep my livelihood. You know, you know what I think all of his advertisers are. It's all those like meal plans. Like I don't think he stepped outside of his house for five. Years. <laughs> yeah, the the, the, what's it called? <laughs> the, uh, the blue apron and all, all that stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, like he just and then he waits. He doesn't even like answer the delivery man and like take it. He just waits for them to walk all the way away, all the way back. Cuddle in and then just back into the cave. And then he goes back on there. Guys, I need money. I need help. <laughs> well, here we go. Here's more. Aren't even his viewers, nor are they your customers. Second, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If we can weather this with a big increase in subscribers at a time when the right is trying to end us, it would be huge. And the most important thing is we have to replace that revenue. Oh, have, this is no longer theoretical. This is not a the most important thing is we have to replace that revenue. This is no longer theoretical. You know, it's nicer to get support from the audience because then no one person can can't. Well, listen, we have a mix of support from different sources. Advertisers are one of those. And one person can say we're cutting the campaign. And that's what's happening with a number of these campaigns. It is not 
theoretical. Help us make up for a slice of what these right wing radicals have taken away through the ad campaigns. You go to joinpacman.com. We have a coupon code. Listen the code this. is cancel, cancel, <laughs> cancel the cancelers who say don't cancel people. <laughs> they are the ones who say don't use these techniques. Don't contact advertisers demanding vote, but they are now doing it. There you have it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get my cancel, cancel. Well, so All right. Now, listen, let me just tell you guys something. OK, I'm not saying this to be braggadocious. I mean, you know, and it's, it's actually you guys really helped us get here. Right. We interviewed Matt Taibbi last week. We've been clipping portions of those interviews and publishing them as their own segments. One of them really caught fire and got about 50,000 views. That's a monetized video, right? So it got 50,000 views. And I can't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say exactly how much we took in uh, on ads for that video. I don't know if there's a policy where like we can't reveal the internal YouTube stuff. But I could say we did pretty well on that video. Well enough to the point where I can tell you if you consistently publish videos that get 50,000 views and are monetized, oh. Um, as Pacman surely does, because he has 1.6 million subscribers, you are going to make bank on YouTube without the green juice sponsoring you for the in uh, the on air ad reads, right? Because the YouTube ads are separate. Point is, this guy is rolling in it. He's still rolling in it. This guy right. still makes a tremendous amount of money from the YouTube ads and not that to mention the super chats when he goes live, not to mention, I'm sure he has a good subscription network. I don't know what he uses, Patreon, something like that. This guy's making plenty of fucking money to the point where if a few of his on air ad reads bail over this, that does not put him at risk of no. you know loss of house and home. <laughs> He's doing great. And the fact that I mean, you don't understand like I, I like. I, I'm not trying to do a Vanguard style pile on here because of just the context in which this is all happening. Like it's almost too dark to enjoy doing this, right? So I like I, I don't mean it in that way, but I'm just saying like you sent the tweet. You had an opportunity to say you were sorry for an obviously terrible tweet. You then posted a second tweet not apologizing for that. You right. then took that down and posted a video not apologizing for either of those tweets. And then three days later, you create a fucking a coupon code for people to go and subscribe to your whatever membership thing is to give you money for whatever loss in revenue that you have to make up. You do a show by yourself. You don't have a Russell Dobular that you got to split the shit with, right? You, you got, you're doing it, you're doing it yourself here. And you, and, and you lose a couple of, like I said, green juice accounts on your ad reads and you got to make it this desperate thing where you got to help us make that revenue back you ever hear of just taking a loss making a mistake and taking a loss again i do not believe you should be canceled or deplatformed none of that i would be strongly strongly opposed to any of those measures but that doesn't mean you can't take a little bit of a knock on the chin for doing this the idea that you come to your viewers and desperate go here right. i created a coupon code 20 percent off cancel cancel it's only six dollars a month come on we have to make that up please come on i mean that's just a pathetic look this is why i said earlier on twitter this is why independent media ain't shit. this is why right because this is straight out of the breaking points tyt playbook they yeah. fuck up and we have to support them for the losses. No. If even one of us, does, like he and you and I, like who, who does this on a regular, if we fuck up like that and we're way smaller, right, we won't have a channel. David Pakman, for all intents and purposes, made a big mistake. And instead of just fucking apologize, and take the hit, you'll be just fine. And you're fucking rewarded for it, number one, because he got more subs out of it. But then he expects people like his audience to counter for him by giving him more money? No. Yeah, no. That bothers me. Please clap. <laughs> 